If you want a fast and reliable way to upload images via an API, you can use Hono and Cloudinary together, giving you a secure way to upload assets at scale. So here I have a Hono application set up and I'm using middleware here to load Cloudinary so it can be available on any route that we create. So what we're going to do is create a route here that is for uploading an image. So first we'll do app.post and we'll call it upload and then we'll pass the context in and then we're going to take the body parser here. So we'll do create request pass body which is built in and then we'll use the then to then handle the request itself. So we'll do an asynchronous function here and we'll use the body. And then inside of here is where we can actually handle taking what is in the body, which will be a file that will show you how to use an API to do that. And then we'll pass it along to Cloudinary. So first we need the image. So we're going to say const image equals, and then we'll grab it from the body. So we'll do body image and we'll tell TypeScript that it is a file. Then we'll turn it into a byte array buffer. So we'll do byte array buffer equals await image dot array buffer. And now we need to turn this into a base64 to upload to Cloudinary. And Hono has a built-in function. So we can do import encode base64. And that's from Hono slash utils slash encode. And then that gives us the ability to take this array buffer here and turn it into base64. So we can do const base64 equal to encode base64 and then pass in this byte array buffer. So now we actually have this base64 string. We can do const results equals await cloudinary. Now, remember this Cloudinary config here is all going to be set up. So we can just do uploader.upload and then we can tell it's going to be a base64 string. So we can just do data image PNG base64, a comma, and then we can pass in our base64. And then we can close out our string here with a temperate literal. And then we can do console.log results. So we can look at them and then we can also just return c json and we'll return the results to the api as well so now this is all set up and ready to go we can test so we go to npm run dev and now it's running on port 3000 and what we're doing here is we're taking a multi-part form so multi-part form an image i've given it the name image and then this is an example jpeg and we should be able to send this down and then it should just take a few seconds to upload and now we have the url that we can click on and as you can see, we have this wonderful image of a landscape that is super high res. If you want to upload the buffer directly, you could alternatively use the upload stream method that you can see right here on screen. Of course, you can also use this to do gets if you wanted to get an image from your Cloudinary account, or you could also remove assets or whatever else you might need to do using the Node SDK. Next up, let's see how we can use AI to tag those images on upload. 